short A, letter A, the first letter of the alphabet. It also represents a great report card grade. But the letter A can also be a word. In fact, A is the third most frequent word in the English language. Letter A can stand for several sounds. Today, we're going to study the short A vowel sound, A, ah, and read some words that have this sound. Repeat after me as I say the letter, keyword, and sound for short A. A, apple, A. Ah. Listen for the sound A ah in the word at. At. Let's repeat the word, this time segmenting it sound by sound. At. At. Notice that the a ah sound can come at the beginning of a word, such as in the words apple and at. Now, listen for the sound a ah in the word sat. Sat. Let's repeat the word, this time segmenting it sound by sound. S-a-t. Sat. Notice that the a ah sound can come in the middle of a word, such as in the words sat and mat. The word below is k-a-t, cat. The letters in cat have a consonant vowel consonant CVC pattern. In a consonant vowel consonant pattern, the vowel usually makes the short vowel sound. You may now go to the Try It section and then the Show What You Know section of the lesson. Closed syllables. We can look at the last letter in a syllable to determine the sound the vowel will make. A syllable that ends in a consonant is called a closed syllable and usually has a short vowel sound. Let's quickly review our short vowel sounds. A. The short vowel A says A, ah, A apple A. Ah. The short E says E, eh, E ed E. Eh. The short I says I, I inch I. The short O says Ah, O octopus Ah. And the short U says uh, U up uh. Let's take a look at the word tennis. The word tennis has two syllables, tennis. I'm going to draw a line to separate these syllables. Both syllables are closed syllables because they end in consonants. This lets me know that the vowel sound in both syllables will be short. The letter E will say E, eh, and the letter I will say I, eh, tennis, tennis. Dividing syllables. You can break a word into syllables to make it easier to read. The first step is to look for familiar word parts, such as endings. Then spot the vowels. Let's practice with the word cabinet. When I look at the word cabinet, I notice that it does not have any ending or suffix. So now I will look for the vowel spots. This word has three vowel spots that we see and hear. So it has three syllables. The vowel spots that we see are the letters A, I, and E. I'm going to draw a line to separate each syllable. Cab, in, et. Is the vowel sound in the first syllable long or short? If you said short, you are correct. But how do we know that it should be a short vowel sound? We know that the A should make the short vowel sound because the first syllable, cab, is closed in by the consonant B. When the syllable is closed in with the consonant, the vowel sound is short. Is the vowel sound in the second syllable short or long? If you said short, you are correct. 
We know that the I makes the short vowel sound I because the second syllable is closed in with the consonant N. Is the vowel sound in the third syllable short or long? Once again, the vowel sound in the third syllable is short. We know that it is a short E sound, E, eh, because the syllable is closed in with the consonant T. The word is cabinet. If a word has just one consonant in the middle surrounded by two vowels, we often divide the word after the middle consonant. Let's try this with the word seven. Seven is a word that has one consonant in the middle surrounded by two vowels. So we are going to divide the word after the middle consonant. Notice how I draw a line to divide the syllables. Once again, we know that both syllables are closed syllables because they are closed in by consonant letters V and N. This also lets us know that the vowel sound in both syllables should be short. So the E in the first syllable should say eh, and the E in the second syllable should also say eh to make the word seven. Let's continue practicing dividing the closed syllables in multisyllabic words. The first word is habit. How many syllables are in the word habit? If you said two, you are correct. Now that we know there are two syllables in the word habit, where should we draw the line to divide those syllables? If you said after the B, you are correct. We learned that if a word has just one consonant in the middle surrounded by two vowels, we often break the word after the middle consonant. Because both syllables end in consonants. Both syllables are closed syllables, making the vowel sound short. Hab it, habit. The next word is magnet. How many syllables are in the word magnet? If you said two, you are correct. Where would we draw the line to divide the syllables in magnet? If you said after the G, you are correct. We know that when a word has two consonants in the middle, you can split it into syllables between those two consonants. Once again, we know both syllables are closed because they are closed in by the consonant G and T, making the vowel sound short. Magnet, magnet. Soft C and G enclosed syllables. Most consonants stand for just one sound, but C and G can stand for two different sounds. You've studied the letters C as in cat and G as in gas, but today we'll focus on other sounds that C and G can stand for. We will call these new sounds for these letters soft C and G. In the past, you have learned that the letter S stands for S and the letter J stands for J. In this lesson, you'll be working with new spellings for these sounds. In the past, you have learned that the letter C stands for K. But did you know that when the letter C is followed by an E, I, or Y, it stands for S as in cell? Let's look at an example. Can, can. The C is followed by the vowel A. Therefore, the C will make the K sound. Can. Now let's look at scent, scent. The C is followed by the vowel E. Therefore, the C will make the S sound, scent. In the past, you have learned that the letter G stands for G. But did you know that when the letter G is followed by an E, I, or Y, it can stand for J, as in gem. Let's look at an example. Game. 
game. The G is followed by the vowel A. Therefore, the G makes the G sound. Now look at gel. Gel. The G is followed by the vowel E. Therefore, the G makes the J sound. Gel. There are some exceptions where the letter G will not make the J sound, even if it is followed by an E, I, or Y. Because of this, when you get to a word that has a G followed by an E, I, or Y, try reading it both ways to see which pronunciation makes sense. For example, when we look at this word, the G is followed by an E. So we should first start by trying to pronounce it with the J sound, gel. Then we should try pronouncing it with the G sound, gel. You should think about which of the two words makes a real word. Gel is a real word. Gel is not. This next word has a G followed by the vowel I. Therefore, I should try pronouncing it with the J and G sound to see which one makes the most sense. Gift. Gift. Gift is a real word. Therefore, this is an example of an exception. Even though the G is followed by an I, it is still making the G sound. Gift. You may now go to the Try It section and then the Show What You Know section of the lesson. Two and three letter blends. Today, we will work with words that have two letter consonant blends and three letter consonant blends. When reading words, we have to blend the sounds in each word so we can produce the entire word. The word below is twin. Listen for the sounds the first two consonants stand for. T These two sounds go together nicely to produce t such as in the words twin or twitch. The next word below is dress. Listen for the sounds the first two consonants stand for. D Sometimes, when certain consonants are near each other, the overall sound changes when we quickly blend the sounds together. For example, in the word dress, when the sounds d and r are quickly blended in the word, they start to sound like the sound j, dress. These words both contain two letter blends. We know this because each of the words have two consonants at the beginning of the word. To say the words, we have to blend together the sounds that each consonant makes. We call these consonant blends. Let's take a look at the word split. Listen for the sounds the first three consonants stand for. S -p you clearly hear all three sounds when you say the word, but you have to blend them together to produce the word. This word contains a three letter blend. The next word below is strap. Listen for the sounds the first three consonants stand for. S -t Sometimes when certain consonants are near each other, the overall sound changes when we quickly blend the sounds together. For example, in the word strap, you produce the s sound to start, but when the sounds t and r are quickly blended together in a word, they start to sound like the sound ch, strap. These words both contain three letter blends. We know this because each of the words have three consonants at the beginning of the word. To say the words, we have to blend together the sounds that each consonant makes. Silent consonants. Sometimes when two consonants appear together in a word, one of them is silent. Today, we'll find out about words with silent consonants. Let's look at the word below. Listen as I read the word aloud. Not. 
Now listen to the sounds you hear in not. N -a -t. You should notice that you do not hear the k sound when you say the word not. The consonant K is silent when reading this word. Now let's look at the next word. Listen as I read the word aloud. Comb. Now listen to the sounds you hear in comb. K. O. M. You should notice that you do not hear the B sound when you say the word comb. The consonant B is silent when reading this word. Next up, listen as I read the word below aloud. Rap. Now listen to the sounds you hear in rap. R -a -p. You should notice that you do not hear the sound when you say the word rap. The consonant W is silent when reading this word. Silent consonants. Some letters in consonant pairs can be silent. The K in KN, the B in MB, and the W in WR are silent. You can notice from the examples that silent letters can show up in different parts of the word. In not, the silent K comes at the beginning of the word. In rap, the silent W also comes at the beginning of the word. You will never see the letters KN together or WR together at the very end of a word. On the other hand, in lamb, the silent B comes at the end of the word, and you will never see a word with MB together at the beginning. When we blend words with silent consonants, we must identify the silent consonant and remember not to read its sound. Let's look at some more words with silent consonants in them. Knock. N -a -k, knock. Wrist. R -i -s -t, wrist. Knife. N -i -f, knife. Thumb. Th -a -m, thumb. Wrap. Wrap. Limb. L I, m, limb. Right. R -i -t, right. Lamb. L -a -m, lamb. Wreck. R -a -k, wreck. Knob. N -a -b, knob. Knot. N -a -t, knot. You may now go to the Try It section and then the Show What You Know section of the lesson.